Welcome to the Saturday Night Cult Movie. Gar's not bad. You know, he seems to, you know, remember his lines, which I suppose he should do as he, you know, as he wrote them that morning. And it was all... <laughs> that, that type of thing. And he's no longer with us. Or is he? I don't know. I think he maybe he's just ill. It wasn't just the swordplay and the ninja stars that made everyone sit up and take notice. Back then, especially as children, you didn't see nakedness on television. I love working with women. <laughs> just because I fall out with every woman that I work with doesn't mean I don't love working with women. The main actor was a womanizer, much like the character, Detective Seamus. You're quite a woman, and I want you. If you're a sex pest, you're finished. There's nowhere else to go. You can't be an actor after that. You can't go back on the TV. But he, he was very polite. He was very polite about it. It was kind of confronting because it wasn't a comedy. He had live ammunition fired at actors. The director's temper was legendary. He would often argue with producers. That it's eight weeks, UA with a twenty-seven million dollar negative is going to force me to complete it with what I've got, and I don't have the movie yet. Okay, I'm really scared, guys. The first time I've been scared on this movie. Need I say more? It also includes cameos from some of Norway's biggest pop stars. Friends through eternity, loyalty, honesty. Did you see that, Gensai? What? Um, an incredible actor. You know, I would say as good, you know, as any, you know, of the big names. I really hate to kill a man with your intelligence. No one had expected it. But Japanese TV was invading Australia. And you know, we, we just felt the boundaries just being pushed a little bit by this program. Whereas in Japan, I'm sure it didn't even raise an eyebrow, but for us, it was quite novel. Surrounded by upwards of 20 or 30 Kogan ninjas, they would only ever attack from the front, one at a time. Do you see what I mean?